you like to tell the people of Earth anything about this world? Beware the y'all. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am here at Meow Wolf Denver, opening day of Meow Wolf Denver. And you're probably wondering, if you don't know, what is Meow Wolf? It's kind of a little bit uh, difficult to explain, so I'm gonna do my best. Meow Wolf is actually an art exhibit. Uh, very uh, hands-on. There's a story behind each of the different locations in Meow Wolf. This one in particular, Meow Wolf, it's actually tucked in here to the highways. I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll get a view of that, but uh, there's a story. It's called Convergent Station because there are four unique alien worlds that have collided together in a unique cosmic event. So that is the exhibit and the art direction that this location of Meow Wolf went through. So you get to go in there, you get to explore these different worlds, like there's hidden secrets, I mean, they're just a bunch of awesome things. I've never been to a Meow Wolf location, but I've heard so many awesome things about Meow Wolf uh, locations, and I'm so very excited. It came to Denver, and I'm super excited. I was able to secure tickets to opening day for all of you guys here. So without further ado, I'm here. You're here. This is the Daily Datrick. Let's go check out Meow Wolf Denver. So we are inside Meow Wolf Denver, as you can see behind me. And uh, there's actually two different options that you can take. There's Archer C, which is behind me here. And that is a kind of go at your own pace and explore the different worlds, snap some pictures. That's about a two hour experience. And then there's the uh, E departures. It's $3. And that's more of a four hour, four to five hour experience. And there's a rich back history on the converged worlds. And, uh, you know, just a bunch of in depth things if you're looking for more of a story, because there is a story behind this place and uh, history on the four worlds and all that stuff. So it's up to you on what you would like to do. And I think me personally, I'm gonna take the long tour and try my best to get what I can for you without spoiling a bunch uh, on video. So uh, for the vlog. And after or before your trip, it's up to you. There's departure end, and that is kind of uh, outside the converged worlds, and it's a an area you can go into. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but we will definitely take a look at that. One thing I wanted to mention to you guys is the Q card or the Q pass. This card links with this ATM, and the way they explained it is these. This card stores your memories within the con converged worlds. This card is good for your lifetime, so no matter how many times you visit Meow Wolf Denver, this card is good and it'll store anything that you find in the converged worlds. If you want to come back and explore more, this will be your key. Scan your card on this ATM there, it'll show you each and every one of your memories, your discoveries, all of that. We have just entered into the converged worlds. This is called C Street. We took a one-way tram up here into the converged worlds, and in this experience, you have to find your own way out of here, which is part of the fun. So we're gonna start roaming around here, looking around, checking everything out, and uh, we'll see how long it takes to find our own way out of here. initial look in here I am completely overwhelmed I don't know what to record what to do uh, I'm worried about my battery on my camera already like there's just so much in here that I at least I brought two batteries so we'll see I mean there's just so much in here so let's try and get through this together this thing right here is already reminding me of the DeLorean from back to the future that's pretty dope 
I mean, look, look at this. So, uh, something that I was not aware of is there's actual uh, beings on these different planets and I just had a uh, small little, uh, what do you call it, um, brain injury problem, uh, interaction, thank you, uh, with a few of them. The board came up on this uh, billboard up here and a, a new mayor was elected to this street and they were like, you know, we got to try and get somebody to turn this planet around and he's like, I, I stuffed a bunch of ballots in the entries for that dude so we'll see if he does a good job. So he was just telling me that he fixed the entire election. Hilarious. Alright, we're going to go into our first room. I don't know what this is, but we're going to go in here. art exhibit in here and they just informed us that the art in here is actually for sale so if you want to buy some probably not really but it's pretty cool in there really quiet there's a bra out there so i'm guessing the planet that we started on is kind of like an underground type of community or uh what do you call it um I'm losing all my words today, guys. My brain's not working. I'm gonna get it, I promise. Uh, what is it? What is the word? It's right on the tip of my tongue. And when I say it, you guys are gonna be like, really, that's what you were trying to figure out? Um, crime, 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 crime. Guys, I was in an accident three years ago, had a traumatic brain injury, so that's why I struggle sometimes. Anyways, this area looks like the C Street is crime driven and corrupt and kind of like just a, a deep underground city is what it's looking like to me. Let's see what's in here. Looks like some sort of bus. 70s style up in here. It's just a random door here. So I'm gonna see where this takes me. You're good, no worries. Maybe I'm thinking that this might be a uh, portal into one of the other alien worlds. So we're gonna go through this little passage here, figure out where it brings us. I was wrong, it's still C Street. There's a bunch of interactive elements in that house there. Uh, I guess, I'm guessing clues to the mystery of this uh, world. Um, there was way too many people in there so I couldn't really mess with anything, but very cool. I just realized that this music going on in this room is being done with actual instruments.
side of the world. We went through that door there and came out into that musical room there. You guys, this is only world one of the four worlds in Convergence Station. And I'm already so overwhelmed. I want to show you guys everything. And I'm going to run out of battery. I know that for a fact. So bear with me and I hope that I can uh, get uh, at least a taste of each of these worlds with you. This place is mind-boggling amazing. I, I, I can't even put it into words already and I've only been in one world. Only one. We're gonna check out what's in this uh, movie area. This is so cool. Holy shnikes. positive we crossed over into one of the other alien worlds here in the Convergence. Definitely looks a lot different than C Street. Let's see if we're able to figure out the name of this spot. That's one thing I want to accomplish while I'm here for the first time is getting the names of each of these alien worlds. You 
use your Q-Pass on these uh, little things. I'm, I'm pretty sure it stores where you've been and what you've scanned. So when you come back, you know your memories are all stored. Still walking around in the second alien world in the Convergence and I have not yet seen a clue to the name of this place. Looking for any inhabitants, maybe that live on this planet, that I can ask, but I'm not sure. We'll figure it out though, I promise you. Here, obviously, we can't ask him the name of this spot. Maybe creatures are the only thing that live here.
Um, we're back in the uh, mossy corridors. At this point, guys, I don't know where we're at. I'm turned around, twisted around, and it's a maze at this point, trying to figure out what to do, where to go, where we haven't been, so we can keep exploring th th these converged worlds. Stick with me. Guys, Numina. Numina. Would you like to tell the people of Earth anything about this world? Beware the Yalp. Beware the Yalp? Is that a creature? It's kind of like, uh, what do you Earthers call it? Bigfoot? Big Sasquatch? Well, we don't it's know. Scarier. We don't know if Bigfoot's real. He's in the Gremlin Symphony. There's information about him in the Gremlin Symphony. Gremlin Symphony? Mm -hmm. Is that the room that plays all the music? Mm -hmm. Ooh, trash. All right, we were there before, but we'll go back and take a look. Appreciate you. Happy converting. So, so cool. Numina, did I not say that we would learn the name of this place? Love it. Guys, I found one Disney reference in this place. It's probably not meant to be a Disney reference, but it is. Tell me you don't know what this is from. He's from Toy Story. They stole him from Earth. Here. So we know that people, the people on Numina are Disney fans. We are gonna go through this hole. I'm still lost in Numis. Newman. Numis or Newman? One of them. But I, I, I can't find my way out of this this uh, this world. So we're gonna keep wandering around. finally found our way into a new world. This is what they've been uh, advertising in all the posters.
total of three doors and an elevator in this one room right here. And I literally don't know where to go, don't know where I am. It's amazing the sense of wonder and the sense of loss that you get in this place, trying to figure things out. There's tons of puzzles everywhere that I have not filmed uh, just because I'm trying to, you know, show the sights at least. Uh, but I mean, this place, you know, you, it's easy to get lost in here. Yeah. <laughs> Is this like another door? I don't know. No, it's not. Guys, I just came out of this door right here and we're back in the art exhibit, or yeah, the art exhibit on C Street that I took at the beginning of this video, towards the beginning of this video. I didn't even know there was a door right there when I came in here at first. I thought this was just a room. So we're back on C Street. I think I'm gonna head across to the other way to see if we can see anything new. like a kid's uh, you know like daycare or something we've seen that area let's try this door to see if this is new morning lighting effects in use I think that cathedral is one world and maybe this area that I'm in right now is the fourth one. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but that's the point of coming here multiple times so you can find out new things every time you come. I'm wandering around trying to find new places that I haven't been yet and I think I've finally found an area.
position. Yeah. So there's four different areas. You can spit out quarters. If you can find any quarters, bring them back. You know, I saw when you find that 25 cents, you had a hole to put a quarter into. Yeah. Is that something I'm looking for? Maybe. Do you have a quarter to put in there? You know, okay. Well, that's fine. But there are areas that it spits out. So find those quarters. In the entire. Yeah, I can show you what it's going to take Yeah, let's show me. Yeah, alright. Alright, she's going to show me a hint. See how it's in here. Right there. Is that what you do? But somebody has to put a quarter in first. So, yeah. So it'll spit out in random areas. One quarter. I don't have to bring back all four. One quarter. All right. One we're going to do this. We're going to find a quarter. Yep. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to look. <laughs> See you soon. We got to find a quarter, guys. Spin it, watch the ceiling. Spin it the other way. Spin it that way, good job. Crazy. I think she might be off or something. Uh, I'm back at the main headquarters and we're gonna head into the bonus room that I mentioned at the start. and I'm probably going to spend money. The yeah, Owl Denver shirts, hoodies, got the cathedral that we saw in there. Another hoodie. They've got tons of clothes, shirts. 
tumblers, they got hats up there. They got a snapback, dude. Oh my goodness. Should I buy it? Should I get it, guys? It's $26.99. I don't know. Is this one better? What does that say? I don't know what that says. We're not gonna put it on there. I know, but like. Ooh, the beanie's dope. Got beanies, tumblers, more hats. Tons of magnets here, and they got even pins. I'm a huge pin guy, you know that. Those are dope. They got socks. They got your kids' merch. And I just got out of Meow Wolf Denver. What an insane experience. I can't even put into words how it was. It's so overwhelming when you first go in there, in a good way. There's so much to see, so much to do, so much history. You get lost in there. You don't know where you're at. You don't know where you're going. The interactive elements of everything inside there, the... Uh, the, the the cast not cast members that's Disney the the, uh, the people that work here that are in character inside the convergence amazing how they play along it's just so interactive I love that so much and I'm looking forward to coming back here because I am gonna come back here to unlock more memories you can use that ATM to map out your memories learn about everything and there's just so much to do for multiple visits so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had making it um, as much as I enjoyed making it uh, please subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video there will be more videos of Meow Wolf, Meow Wolf trying to decode everything trying to figure out more about this place the story all that good stuff drop a comment of anything that you saw in there that caught your eye I mean I know there was a bunch but there has to be something that caught your eye I appreciate every single one of you so very much and as always I will see you guys on the next one later